The Three of Pentacles is also on the bottom of here. So really trying to find your balance between mind, body, and spirit, incorporating some new ways of doing things, asking for help, um, things like that. But it does look like you're really looking at your balance for Three of Pentacles. It can mean also the heart um, that you're looking at balance within the heart as well. Um, and pentacles can mean money and physical things. So it does look like you're revamping a lot of the ways that you have done things over the past that did not work for you and finding balance. The devil here, this kind of validates that statement. You may get tempted to do things like you did in the past um, just because they're a little easier right now, but it is just a test. It does look like you will pass it. You have made some really conscious decisions. The hangman is here, is crossing it. You've made some really conscious decisions to switch your perspective um, and release a lot of it. Looks like legacy pain or um, challenges from the past. It could be been either um, <clears throat> something negative um, as as bad as you know something negative as a child sexually um, it could be you know being raised with alcoholics something like that but it does look like you have made a shift to release some of that energy no longer be prisoner to um, the history that you had and that you are embracing today and as a new place. But you may be tempted a little bit to uh, backslide into some of the old behaviors. It does look like you will pass that test because you do have two um, major uh, karma cards. The aces are kind of what I call the karma cards or the God cards and when you're on your right path. So it does look like that you were tempted a bit to kind of go back to some old behaviors um, and um, were tested a bit. But the hangman here, it looks like your perspective has remained uh, in that new space of wonder and that you have embraced some big changes and um, not kind of getting lured into some of the emotional entanglements that you have in the past, fixing things for other pro for other people or um, putting the things that are important to you on the back burner while you help someone else. I'm not saying stop being a wonderful humanitarian that you are, Libra, but um, make sure that you prioritize and, um, and keep your things on the front burner of things. So, and the hangman kind of helps that uh, it switches your perspective. It's like when you're playing checkers or chess and and say you're playing checkers and you, you're the black man the first half of the game. Um, for the second half of the game, you turn the board upside down or, or turn it around and you're all of a sudden the red men. It's the same game, but the but it looks completely different. And that's exactly what's happened to you. It looks like over the last... 12 to 18 months, you've had these huge shifts in epiphanies, huge shifts in how you create things and what life is looks like for you. It looks completely different now than it did 12 to 18 months ago. And it does look like you're moving towards much more creative um, types of things. You do have a couple of swords here, so you may have to clean up some things from the past. Um, this six of swords... Um, it's just, spirit is just telling me it's time to kind of put down all the, the have to's for a minute and just float and see what spirit brings to you. It does feel like you're completing a cycle of some kind. So don't rush the process. You're right at the end there and um, pretty soon it will take off. But it does feel like you've been really trying to clean up things financially, emotionally and physical, some physical things that you've been cleaning up. And the fact that the lovers is here and the two of cups right here, it feels like you've been really trying to clean up your love space. Uh, for many of you, it may have been being in a relationship that wasn't working, releasing that relationship um, or doing all the work that you needed to do over the last couple of years. So you will be open and ready to receive um, your life partner. Um, so it does look like there's a big shift in your heart space that you are um, ready to be a little vulnerable, um, make those changes within the relationship if you have one or welcome in a new one. 
but it does feel like, you know, every, every sign I've been getting something on relationship space and really making those shifts and, and communicating our highest, um, level with love and kindness and making those changes. I think with all these, um, wonderful eclipses and they were so powerful. We really, you know, as, as earthlings did not have much of a choice. We had to make some changes. So, um, and this is kind of the positive result of doing the hard work over the last couple of months, Libra. You've really been doing the hard work. You've been speaking your truth, uh, pulling yourself out of situations that are no longer serving. Um, that includes dysfunctional relationships. Um, whether you were bringing the dysfunction or they were bringing the dysfunction, it does look like in all relationships, not just love relationships, but you have kind of upgraded um, your perspective and released some either friendships or relationship space, could even been a lover or a marriage um, that wasn't working. And now you're kind of going on the up, um, you're, you're marching uphill now. You um, kind of did the downhill battle for a while, and now you're starting to gain momentum in creating um, a new and wonderful place. But it does look like your heart is ready to either love again if you haven't, or um, be more open with the love that you have. So it does look like you are um, conjuring, if you will, um, either a new love or a new way to love and um, ready to be a little vulnerable. Libra, I know you guard your, your hold your heart very close to your, your chest sometimes. So it does look like maybe a very important discussion about love or a crush or how you want your marriage to look like. But those discussions are ripe right now. Don't be afraid to, um, you know, if it's a crush, go ahead and tell them about it. Uh, it does look like the rewards will be many if you speak from the heart, um, no matter what the outcome that you wish to achieve. So speak from the heart. The Ace of Wands here, you know, that is kind of the hand of God. So put some energy into what you'd like to have happen. It does look like it is. You're on, kind of on a divine path and that something um, will happen very quickly, very spontaneously, kind of that you never thought would happen. And um, it looks like it will bring you great pleasure. It's not like a negative surprise, but it does look like <clears throat> something you've been working towards and maybe not in that particular direction, uh, but just being open and ready to receive. It does look like a bolt of lightning coming down from the sky. So sudden change out of the, out of the blue kind of thing. And it does feel like it will open up your heart. It will bring others into your life and um, be a wonderful, wonderful surprise. So it looks like a reward for all the hard work you've been doing, Libra, and all those discussions that you avoided in the past that you've really embraced. So um, stay tuned. That sounds wonderful. Two of Cups, finding balance in love, um, uh, accepting the dark and the light within yourself, uh, being strong in your decisions. This uh, the lion head is is kind of lighting up for me. So it's time to have some discussions that you've been putting off or even embracing some feelings that you've been just pushing down um, and, you know, not sure how the other person would take this discussion. And this can be in the love space. This can be in, you know, the relationship space or in friendship workspace, but it does feel like you are coming into your balance. You are coming into your power. You've done a lot of the hard work and it's now you're in line to be rewarded for that. So don't stand in the way of your greatness. Take a chance. Um, if it's something you normally say it would say no to, say yes and see what happens. Um, it does feel like more positiveness is coming towards you. So trust your intuition. It does feel like your intuition is really cranked up. So trust yourself. Um, it this medical insignia is lighting up for me too. So it does look like the ending of some um, medical issue that you had or um, getting your health back in track. It could be just, you know, starting to exercise again, starting to eat the right foods, making that commitment to your health. And that's what I'm feeling is that is incorporating now. If it hasn't um, already started, it will start very soon. You are incorporating a little bit more of 
making the earth suit strong, um, and doing what you need to do to preserve your wellness, preserve your wellness. So the 10 of swords is here. Tens are the ending of something. This does feel like a betrayal of some kind. Um, it is on the line of the ace of wands here. So it was probably something you really, really needed to see that you were not looking at. It does feel like a betrayal in the home. I'm not sure if it's a roommate. I'm not sure if it's um, a loved one or a partner, but it does feel like um, you were lied to. Something is being swept under the rug and it's coming to light. So if you feel something's hinky, please trust your intuition, Libra. It is, but there is something to do with um, um, something's being presented to you that's dishonest. It may be, you know, a roommate saying they pay the rent and they didn't pay the rent. Um, could be as easy as that or could be theft or something, but it does feel like they're sneaking about. They're sneaking about. Um, and it may be a child that's sneaking out at night or something. It could be quite literally sneaking about. But um, be aware of the subtle changes. Be aware if something doesn't feel right to you, Libra, please trust your intuition. Um, you're, with all this work that you've done, you're really taking a step up in your um, intuition, your psychic abilities. So please trust that God of your heart. If you feel that something's funky, um, trust that it is. Do a little bit more investigation. But it does feel like this Ten of Swords is coming to a head. This feels like something has been going on for a number of months behind your back and it will be brought to the forefront. The Nine of Wands is here, and that is kind of when you're looking at everything that you've created in your life, and you're picking, and you're choosing, and you're figuring out what works for you and what doesn't. It's kind of like a psychic upgrade. So it's a psychic upgrade 2.0 kind of thing. Um, it looks like you have cleared out your closets physically, emotionally, and mentally, uh, but this is kind of like the rest, the, the last vestige of cleaning it up before you really say goodbye to um, behaviors, ideas, houses, jobs, lovers, friends. It does look like you are clean in house, Libra. You are clean in house. So this is the ending of that. This is the nine of wands. It requires a little bit more action. Wands are action. Wands are fire signs. Um, and the nine, you're almost there. So for those of you who are looking for a new home, you might be right on the apex of finding that, right on the precipice of changing things. But it does require you to take a look at the good things that and keep them retain them and look at the things that aren't working anymore and to truly walk away. And that may be a job. It may be a friendship, maybe a roommate, maybe a husband or wife. So it, it looks like this is the last piece of the puzzle that you're quite aware that you need to do. And you've done mostly everything that you needed to do to start your new journey. So there's just, this is just like tidying up, spiritual tidying up a bit. Here is the Ace of Cups. Aces, of course, are karma cards, uh, God cards, hand of God cards, um, and the cups are emotions. So it does look like you have turned down your emotions or muted um, your authentic self for quite a while, whether you were in a relationship where you weren't growing, and, but it does look like you are ready to rejoin that emotional part of you and no longer to mute your feelings. It does look like there's a bit of fear. So it does look like you need to take a little chance. Do you need to tell a crush that you, that you really attracted to them? Um, but it's, it's time to, um, not be afraid, take a, a leap of faith and be ready and open to receive for your feelings and for your heart. Um, so that is what's coming up. If it hasn't already incorporated, I think once this stuff is looked at, um, that you will be able to move that love energy a little bit. And um, that's coming up. It's coming up. So don't be afraid to take a chance on love. Uh, it looks like you've done all of the hard work to get to that great goddess love or um, 
the twin flame love, if you will. Um, even if you're in a partnership, it does look like you have taken a step up with one another and in your commitment to your relationship. So it does feel like, you know, something's going to come out of the heavens and it does feel like it may be related to love and relationship. So don't be surprised. Um, the card, the culmination card is the temperance card and that is upside down. So it does look like you may lose yourself a little bit in this new love space. Um, so see if you can find your balance in that love space. Uh, keep things in perspective. <laughs> Come down to earth a little bit. But it does look like there's a lot of divine energy here. Um, the spiritual uh, angel energy is here. So this does look like it's in divine planning. So don't run away, even if it scares you. Uh, make it a yes when you normally would say no if your heart is in it. But it does find uh, feel like you're a little out of balance, that you catch yourself a little out of balance when you... Um, when you are in that love or in love space. So you might find yourself a little out of balance in, in the month of September towards October. Um, on the left side of this is the Four of Swords. It does look like you are getting lots of information coming down while you're sleeping. Um, I know that uh, Libra is a very cerebral sign. So if it feels like all those ideas are getting caught in your head and you, you aren't being able to manifest them into the physical plane, uh, it does feel like you're getting a lot of information while you're sleeping and um, that it's coming into your body and isn't incorporating, but it, it does feel like that that uh, your memory is a bit challenged on what was that thing that I dreamt about last night type of thing. And I'm feeling that you should really start a, uh, a dream a dream diary, if you will. You know, just put a book next to your, um, or pad of paper next to your bed and a pencil. And when you wake up, don't analyze it. Just write it down, go about your day and come back and look at it later and see if any of those messages hold true for the day. But it does feel like you are getting a lot of messages when you're on the astral plane and when you're sleeping. A lot of very telling things that um, spirit wants you to pay attention to. So I would suggest trying to get that um, diary or just even a piece of paper and a pencil. Uh, you don't have to do anything except bring it from the head out into the physical world so you can take a look at it. And I think it'll validate a lot of uh, the work that you've done over the last couple of months. The other side of this is the emperor. So staying in integrity, following your journey, um, this really feels like you have taken a step up in your spiritualism and, and your trust in the journey. Um, the emperor is kind of like, you know, uh, go high when they go low, uh, to use a Michelle Obama phrase. <laughs> but the emperor is being in integrity, um, choosing your words wisely, um, being in a position of authority and being respectful in that position, not using it for your betterment, but for the betterment of all. So it is a very important position. Um, you know, you can rule with a, a stiff fist or you can rule with with love and kindness. So it does look like you may be getting a promotion. You may be running something. You may be the leader of some group of some sort. So remember your integrity. Um, speak from the heart and be authentic with this power. No misuse of power. Um, it is upright. So make your words uh, ring true. So that is your reading Libra for the month of September. I'm going to throw a couple of the chakra cards. I haven't used them in a couple of months. They are one of my favorites. They have one or two words that seem to bring it on home. All right. Let's do that one, Libra. Workaholic. Okay, that's pretty clear. Don't put all of your energy just into work or projects. Remember that we're here to enjoy the ride. Um, so if you can incorporate some fun while you're doing work, please do so. Um, but it does look like you've uh, kind of floated for a little bit and now there's a bunch of work coming to you. So incorporate work and pleasure. Um, mysticism. Yeah, it this truly 
validates all all of this. It's time to use your psychic abilities, your clairvoyance, your clairsentience, your feelings. Now it's time to use your feelings for, for the betterment of you and all those around you. So trust in your magic. It's here. It's no longer a concept. It's here. And it's it was given to you to be used. So don't be afraid to step into your greatness. Don't be afraid to trust what spirit is telling you, even if it doesn't feel like it's in line with what is being shown to you. Trust yourself for first and foremost, Libra.